so as you can see here I have these five candies I guess you call these candies I don't really know what you would call these gummies maybe um, I've never had any of these so I kind of just was like hey let's taste these random gummies or candies and uh, you know rate them after so at the very end of the video I'm going to then rate them um, I guess one to five so hopefully you guys enjoy this video it's something different I thought it was a cool idea and hopefully I get to taste some cool good yummy gummies <laughs> that I can maybe start eating in the future because I've never had any of these in my life so sour let's get into these but first we're gonna do these sour patch kids now they're the watermelon ones they're not the normal sour patch kids because obviously I've had those before but I've never actually had these sour patch watermelon ones before so let's open it up that's what they look like. So, just very sugary watermelon type things. <laughs> I can't open them, bro. Oh, it's got an arrow saying tear here. Mm -hmm. All right, boys and girls. There it is. Okay, so, the Sour Patch Kids Watermelon are pretty good for someone that doesn't really like sour stuff like me. I can eat them. Um, I'm not necessarily saying that I would sit down and you know how everybody kind of craves like a candy or some gummies every once in a while while you're watching a video or something so you just eat them. I don't think they're, you could do that maybe. Um, maybe a couple here and there, but uh, I feel like these things right here would be really good and kind of like a uh, in some type of like watermelon fruity drink. If you would put these in it, I feel like it would go really, really good as like a kind of just like a good taste because they do have a good fruity watermelon taste. These are pretty good. So next up, we're gonna do these Mike and Ikes. Now they are the original fruits. So I guess these are the very original flavor. Let's open them up. I'm gonna try a red one, because normally red is always the best. I'm try a green one now. Don't like the green. I'm gonna try a pinkish one. All right, I'm not even gonna try the orange or the yellow because I think that's just gonna be terrible. The red one was actually pretty good for these Mike and Ikes, the original ones. All the other ones I didn't like. Um, but on here it says gluten-free and fat-free. So I guess that's a positive. Next, we might as well try these since we're done Mike and Ike's, let's do these Mike and Ike's and these are the Berry Blast. So hopefully these are better. All right, I'm gonna start off with a blue one. Then I'm gonna go with a purple. Okay, okay. So right off the bat with these, these Berry Blast ones, you get like that initial very blast of berry. Okay, yeah, these, so both of these, right, Mike and Ike's, very, very chewy, it's going to take you a long time, you can't pop like four or five of these at once, like you would want to, because it'd take about 15 minutes to chew, but uh, from the ones that I tasted from the Mike and Ike's Berry Blast, those are very good, that's something that you could sit down and eat, um, unlike these, the watermelon sour patch kids, where you could probably, I wouldn't say eat a lot at once, but you could almost eat that whole thing of Mike and Ike's and like, you know, you could enjoy them. So now we're gonna do the old, good old Swedish fish. Now, I've never had Swedish fish or normal Swedish fish like this. I've had like kind of like your knockoff brands or whatever, but I've never actually had Swedish fish. So Axel, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, but if you are, Shout out to the good old Sweden, I guess. 
It's kind of cool that they actually look like fish. And kind of, and they oh, it actually has Swedish on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just Swedish. It's a very odd taste because you would think it'd be like a cherry, strawberry, something. I don't really know what it tastes like. Um, I still like it over these <laughs> any day of the week. Definitely feel like I'm not eating. Like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, give me some Swedish fish, you know? I don't know how I feel about those. I, they're good, but they're not great, and they're not bad, but they're not good good at the same time. All right, so last, we got these Jolly Rancher gummies. Now a bunch of my teammates actually eat these and they love them. So I've had like one, but it was like a long time ago during the school, during the season. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try these. So Jolly Rancher gummies, original flavors. Gotta try the, I'm gonna try a cherry and a grape. So. <laughs> they actually look like little cherries and a grape. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That is very good. Now that Jolly Rancher gummy, that cherry one was very good. Kind of easier. It's the easiest thing in my opinion to chew. Um, it does kind of get stuck to your teeth, but all of these gummies, gummies in general get stuck to your teeth, you know? But uh, yeah, so let's try this grape one. Yeah, I'm gonna try a blue one of these. Kinda has a face on it. Yeah. So, these Jolly Rancher gummies right here, great flavor. You know, there's still a another pink flavor, which is probably watermelon and a green apple flavor so probably very good I tried the purple which is grape cherry and blueberry very good flavors pop very easy to chew just like your normal gummies are stick to your teeth so now I'm going to rate these from one to five the best right so I'm going with these right here these original the original Mike and Ike's I did not like these at all so these bad boys right here, I'm sorry, but I did not like these at all. Now, going with the second to last, so number four, I'm going with the Swedish fish. No hate towards them or any Swedish people or anything like that, but I just personally did not like the Swedish fish. Now, taking the number three spot, I'm gonna go with the Sour Patch Kids, the watermelon edition ones right here. Now, it was very hard for the third position because it could really go either between the Mike and Ike's or the Sour Patch. But personally, I can eat more of these and I can't eat these as much. So that's why they are getting my third spot. So obviously number two, I'm going with these right here, these Mike and Ike Berry Blast. I think these, the flavors really pop to me, um, more so than the normal Mike and Ike's. And you know, Gluten-free, fat-free is always a plus for everybody, especially with some type of health conditions. So that's a plus as well. But these right here were actually pretty good. I think normal people could sit down and eat these. I wouldn't say eat the whole box by yourself, but hey, if you want to, I think you can, you can enjoy them that much. Now, first place goes to these Jolly Rancher gummies right here. I absolutely love these, everything about them. They were, they were probably the easiest thing to chew. They did get stuck in your teeth though and all that, but the flavors of every single one of them were very, very good. So the Jolly Rancher gummies take number one, in my opinion, for me, my preference personally, take the number one spot for the gummies that I chose today. I um, only got five today. So yeah, but in the comments down below, if you made it this far, which I hope you did, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments what your guys' favorite gummies are and 
if I should do another video like this with maybe my top three gummies and then get some more and maybe do like a and just keep doing it you know because I don't think anybody is not amused or likes to eat gummies it's your boy Jack's world I'll be doing a giveaway at 500 subs so you know if you're not if you're new here subscribe and if you haven't already like the video for me it helps me out a lot I appreciate every single one of you guys that watches the video and I'll see you tomorrow